For me, yoga is always highly beneficial, regardless of the stage of life you are living right now. You can present a great job uh, teaching yoga for kids, for example, in schools, yoga schools, or even privately. Although I think the most important aspect of yoga for kids is the emotional aspect of it. Uh, they can learn a lot, although if they see you, if they see their parents, if they see their family members uh, practicing yoga, that's a whole different thing. Then they learn to establish this habit of self-care and self-love using yoga as the main tool. They can learn a lot, but if one day they walk into the into a grandmother's uh, house and they find their grandparents sitting on the floor, kneeling on the floor and practicing yoga, that is a seed that will eventually blossom uh, once they grow older. So for adults, it's much easier because you just practice some and I feel the benefit and you go back to the mat just because it feels right. And then once we are much older, uh, yoga is a way for you to age, not as we've been aging lately. Yoga is a way for you to age as nature would love you to be aging. So most of our um, restrictions and limitations and pains and aches as we grow much older they're not exactly necessary. If we do use yoga as our tool to reorganize and repattern our aging process, that might, gives us, uh, might give us a quite unique experience in life. So I think for me, yoga is a fantastic tool regardless of your age, from when you were a very um, young child all the way through to your old and oldest years, Yoga might be there just to help you, to support you, and to give you a reference point that will help you to reinvent this process beautifully well. Mm -hmm.